G'day everybody, it's a very quick uh, Sunday evening update. Uh, there's my dead Royal Oscillator, not sorry, Royal Oscillator, the ZVS driver. Um, MOSFETs have failed, they've gone short circuit. Um, they're dead, I think I actually overheated them this time. Um, all of that, uh, all of that lovely uh, purple plasma that they were making earlier, uh, killed them and the flyback. Um, game over. Those uh, fast uh, Zeniths and those resistors are probably still good. Same with those, but not bothered. I have rebuilt a Royal Oscillator to run on 60 volts. I've got uh, the right size cable everywhere, so plenty of current can flow. I've uh, insulated the uh, core of this new flyback, wound some uh, copper windings on it, a 16 gauge. A um, bit of hot glue, hot glue everything down. Um, it's all nice and neat. And uh, everything is replaceable except the transistors, they're kind of soldered in place. <coughs> but, uh, <coughs> pardon me, half the fun in doing this is building the damn thing in the first place, so uh, not too fussed. But uh, 1k resistors there. And uh, tomorrow evening, hopefully, I'll get it running and show you is it all working. Yeah, I still need to wind the, for the wind at the feedback winding. I'm only going to use two turns. Um, and uh, a while back, Jake said he'd like to see what the uh, the low voltage side looked like on a uh, on a oscilloscope. So I'll be doing that for you guys as well. I'll bring the oscilloscope out here, and uh, we'll plug it in and uh, look at the waveforms that are created, and also see how much noise is actually on the output. <coughs> My uh, oscilloscope is good for 600 volts peak to peak. Um, I shouldn't wouldn't think I'd see much more than that. Um, back through these uh, windings as uh, you know as the field collapses inside the flyback you get a bit of a shock back through the main winding um, I hope that's not too bad these transistors are only 100 volt so it can't be much more than that um, apart from that like I said I can change the cap value if I want to I can change the uh, inductor value and I can redo the winding if necessary and change the polarity of the feedback if necessary that's it too much waffling thanks for watching